Well, today is all about macro photography compared to just close-up photography. I do a lot of close-up photography and I'm just starting to do a little bit more of macro. So I came out here to the lake to get started because there's a lot of wildflowers out here. And don't mind the dog here on my bag. I have two dogs that have both have white fur, so the dog hair is everywhere. I call it dog glitter. Having a tripod is definitely a must when you're trying to do macro photography. But right now I'm going to just show you some close-up photography. I'm going to switch out these lenses here. This is a 35 75 millimeter lens that I have on my camera right now, but I'm going to put the 600 millimeter lens on. And nope, most people think a 600 millimeter is only good for objects that are far away, but it actually works really well with flowers, anything 300 millimeters or closer, because you can get some really great depth of field which means a nice blurred background and I really like that with flower photography. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and shoot these yellow flowers over here in front of me. Now with this lens the 600 millimeter I have it set at the largest aperture which is f5 and it depends on the settings I have normally it's at f6 uh, with this lens now if you notice the instra I mean <laughs> Instagram I mean the histogram uh, it's right right dead in the middle which is really good for light So see I was shooting all those at 340 millimeters and 600 and those turn out pretty good. But now what I'm going to show you is I have extensions. They're called extension tubes that you can buy for any camera just about. I bought a set of three. So there's, there's a close up of one of them. But I'm going to only use two extensions. You could use one or all three of them depending on how close you want to get to the flowers. And all you do is you take the extension tube and you put it on your camera. And then you put your lens back on the extension tube. And what this is doing is magnifying your subject a little bit closer. And you don't have to have the extension tubes, they do help. I'm going to show you some samples here. These are close-ups and the difference between a close-up and a macro shot is a macro shot you can actually see the little fine hairs on the plant like this one and now this one's just a close-up. So that's the main difference. If you're photographing a let's say a bug if you're doing macro photography, you're actually going to see the hairs on the bug's body. Like this here, this is my cat's nose. That's macro. And this is close up. And here are some more samples. Try and guess which one is which. I want to thank you for watching today and today is what I call shout out Wednesday. I like to add some links into the description below to help support some other YouTubers. And as always, I hope to see you next time on Adventures Outdoors.